liftoff of the Atlas V. It's a journey that began with this rocket launch back in May. Now six months and 300 miles later, NASA is preparing to land their latest robot on Mars. It's currently travelling at hypersonic speed, so getting it to slow down and land safely is no mean feat. Once we've entered the atmosphere, the drag in the atmosphere slows us down, heats us up. Once we've gotten um, down to a low enough speed, we'll deploy our parachute. The parachute will slow us down even more. And then we land directly on our legs right onto the surface of Mars. The robot's mission is to discover more about what Mars's deep interior is made up of by drilling into it and measuring its earthquakes, or so-called Marsquakes. Here at the National Space Centre in Leicester, they're very excited about what the robot might find. So we're looking at things we've never looked at before, so seeing how the solar system formed four and a half billion years ago, you know, how Mars differs from the Earth. But not only that, there's also some British interest on this as well, because the seismometers, which will help detect the earthquakes or Mars quakes effectively what they'll be, um, the British work with the French uh, to help develop them. But what do these budding astronauts think of it all? It's good to find out more things about things that you don't really know too much about. I know that Mars is very, very, very cold. What would you like them to find on Mars? Volcanoes. Volcanoes. I hope they'll find aliens. <laughs> well, there's not too long to wait to find out now. All being well, the robot will land and start sending back pictures in just over an hour's time. Louise Beale, 5 News.